A little spoiler alert if you were listening closely. Macomb taking on Hicksville. Winner gets Miller City. Clay Grubb on the mound for the Panthers. Grubb gets things started in the first by striking out Jaron Jasso. Epic pitcher's duel to come in this one. Hicksville answers back. Wes Perry painting the inside corner for strike three on Jordan Skillitter. No runs for either team in the first. Second inning, more of the same. Grubb gets the swinging strikeout. Scoring drought continues after two innings of play. And Grubb gets the better of the batter there with another K. Andrew Adams puts one in play. Hard grounder to first. Off the first baseman, but Mason Holstetter backs him up. Makes the throw to first. Adams is out despite the sliding effort. Exciting play to end the inning. Still scoreless. Brock Evans gets the bat started for Hicksville. Hits it to the gap in left center. He rounds first. Going to go for second as the ball rolls to the wall. It's a stand-up double. Clay Grubb having no problems getting out of jams today. Gets the strikeout after Evans advanced to third. Senior keeps a zero on the board. Jasso then hits a ground ball between short and third. He's aboard with a single for the Aces. Still nobody out in this inning. Dakota Harvey lays down the bunt to move Jasso to second. Grubb mishandles it. Harvey's on first now. Jasso gets to second safely. Malachi Abbott replaces Grubb after nine and a third innings of work as we're in extra innings. Phil Carson still third. The throw down to third into left field, and there it is, the game winner. Hicksville wins it in the top of the 10th inning. They add two more in the inning, three to nothing the final, and Hicksville will play Miller City for the regional title. Taking a look at that bracket, that game will be tomorrow at 5. Back at Patrick Henney, winner is state bound, and will play in the late game, 7 p.m. Thursday in Columbus against the winner of tomorrow's regional final in Lorraine between Louisville St. Thomas Aquinas and Western Reserve.